And please take a little bit of time to arrive at yourself. Sense yourself. Let your inner react. Turn your hands and slowly move through your body downwards, taking the self-awareness with you into the feet, into the earth. And just notice what happens in your body, with your body, with yourself. Let your breath react and make a step forward, just to relax. And the nice thing with your rhythm is that we can take words literally. So take a little bit of time huh, to arrive at yourself. Just have your hands here and put a little bit of time in your hands. Just take, don't even put it, just take the time and bring it along. And then turn your hands, go down through your body, through the feet, and let the reactions come. Great. Now, just one minute, when we do the intervals, most of you know them already a little bit. Uh, I have prepared something I want to show you. So, look, can you see this form? And we will, you can interpret these forms and they are given by Rudolf Steiner yeah, in a relationship to the intervals. So if you start here, you can have the prime, you're yeah, just moving slowly, it's the second, the third, the quad, the fourth, just standing, the fifth, just moving like a wave, the sixth, yeah, like an L, a loop, and then the loop just gets an impression, and then the loop gets a center, at the periphery and comes back to itself. And let's try to do this, to say hello to the intervals, not only with the arms, what we often do with the soul, but with our whole body. Great. And the first, and we just walk this form now. Hmm? So, and I will describe it. You just start at the left side of where you can move a little bit. And if the space is not big enough, just interrupt, go back to where you started, and then uh, continue to the right. And I would say start at the left side of your room to move to the right. Have your hands at your heart, because there we stay centered. Your rhythm takes place here. And then make a little curve towards the right, beginning towards behind, a little bit to the right, and then come forward. Arrive. To a second curve, again, just a little bit smaller, a tiny little bit smaller, and come forward again arrive and then just another one just a little tiny tiny curve come forward again and arrive and the fourth interval is just arriving at yourself great and just who has enough space can continue I go back to where I started, maybe some of you want to go back too. 
and then we start with the wave. We go backwards and then the wave goes to the beach, forwards and then we come back to the harbor again and we round it off. Great! And take your time to arrive. Maybe you got lost somehow, but I'm sure you walked bent lines, not straight lines, so it was perfect. And now just walk a loop. Just begin to the right, a little bit forward, and then come back again. And then end up a little bit further to the right than you have started. Great. And then walk back silently to where you started. You see, it doesn't disturb at all. You can always just to keep in mind where you were and we continue yeah, just where we have ended. And now we have this loop and we do the loop to the front. And now it's a little bit, oh, we get an impression, it brings us back a little bit. And we create a little sort of resistance. Okay, we are still there. And then we finish the loop. And arrive. And now we just do the loop and begin. We just do the loop, go forward. And now we are at the very front. And now we just do a little circle. However, just a little circle, very, very little here, tiny steps. And you would love to stay here. But in a way, you bring it with you, this nice experience which you had. And you arrive. Are you still standing upright? Do you know where you are? Then you did everything perfect. And if you got lost in between, everything may happen. But what we do is, and we start again, we do three little curves and stand, we do a wave, and then we do three loops. That's everything. Maybe we just do the primary principle, huh? just one, three waves and stand. Never mind how big or small they are. One uh, uh, curve behind and arrive. Second curve behind and forward. Third curve behind and forward. And then here we stand. Here I am. Do this pretty strongly. Here I am. And then just return to where you were. And it's nice to do it this, the next sequence on the same pattern. And now we do just a little wave. It starts behind, goes forward, goes backwards. However, yeah, just a little bit behind, a little bit forward, a little bit behind, like dancing, like a ship on the waves. And then we do three loops and just try to, yeah, continuously go a little bit to the right, but not much. Loop one. Loop two. And loop three. Arrive. And breathe. And how do you feel now? Is it the same as when you stood here with here I am? Okay, let's do it again. Exactly the same, until you think it's so boring, we must invent some differentiations. But for the moment, three curves over behind to the next place and then stand. First curve, curve, arrive, curve, 
arrive, curve, arrive and stand. Really stand and breathe. Return to where you started. Now we go on the sea, out, far out. The ship starts feeling the waves a little bit behind, a little bit in front, a little bit behind. Done. Loop one, forward to the left, behind. Loop two, forward to the left, behind. Loop three, forward to the left, behind. How does the body feel now? And we start again. Now we do these little differentiations again. But to begin with, just feel your body and try to feel the front of your body and have the feeling there's a cylinder around which you have to move and you use your front to nobody must see you to move behind the cylinder in a way that you just feel you are just moving along something. So feel the front of your body. Do the first curve and just feel I'm moving along. Let go. Feel the front of your body again. Move along. No. And again, move along the cylinder and then arrive. And now have the feeling that you feel your body. You feel your legs and you feel your head. And then the whole column goes on the heels. I feel my heels. I stand. And then return to where you came from. And now just feel the soles of your feet. Just feel them. Just touch the floor. Yeah? Like if, the, if you would be flat-footed, just become yeah, a soil yourself. Yeah? Plat, flat, just muddy feelings. And then have these muddy feelings when you walk this wave, it starts behind, but you, yeah, you walk uh, footsteps into the ground, yeah, into the mud, and you really enjoy this muddy feeling. Ah, so great. And now, yeah, use your toes, just say hello with your toes, and just, yeah, say hello to your friends with your toes. And then, when you walk the, the loop, just yeah, feel your toes, how they walk. Feel your toes, so great. And then feel even more the toes. They even start to, to, walk, to make, want to make little steps. The toes, all the toes. And then for the th third loop, just have the feeling you fly. You don't even need your feet, but you fly. Your wings, your shoulders carry you. Ah, great. How is it to stand here now? How do you perceive your body now? And then go back to your starting point. I hope you have enough space and you see 
you don't have to progress. I just use the space I have. If I had a little more, less space, I would make everything smaller. Yeah? Just in the end, we are one or two feet or six feet further to the right. One more time. Feel your uprightness, feel your forefront. The first cylinder is big. Whoa! If you bang against it, the sound is deep. Boom! You can feel it with your body. And then arrive. The second cylinder, it's also hollow, but thinner. It sounds a little bit higher. Just feel and it's a different color. Yeah? And you feel it and it's smaller. And the third cylinder is very thin. You feel it. Yeah? You hardly need to move. You have to be very attentive. What does it feel like? Feel your legs, your upper body, your head, and then your heels. Try connect, to connect through the heels. And now go a little bit forward with your weight, but the heels are still anchored in the earth. You lean forward, but you feel the heels which do not come out of the earth at all. They are glued and stick to the earth, to the floor. Wow, you can bend forwards. They are just connected. The heels. You don't need your toes to balance your weight because the heels are glued to the floor. Breathe and relax. And then come back. And now we do this wave again. And we have this joy in the feet to yeah to squeeze the mud and can you feel how the mud uh, moves through between the toes yeah that you can feel it squeezing itself through the toes and now walk this wave a little bit backwards but still enjoy putting your feet in this mud and feel the blood the, the flat footedness of your feet ah oh, every step great and now feel your toes and now walk this loop with the oh, lovely feeling in the toes, little steps because you want to experience it as often as possible. And now we do the same, even a little bit more attentive, but only to the, to the front of the loop with the toes we go forward and now somebody pushes us back. Oh, but then we want to stay out there. Feel your toes. Ah, we made it, we made it. We, we have some experience here. And then let your wings grow. Big arms and they carry you and the feet just come along. And you just can't believe what you feel here. It's so beautiful. And then you relax. The wings carry you slowly home, but your soul stays there in front, where it was so beautiful. You are now two. I can still feel how it was there, but I also brought it home. How does it feel now to stand here? Slowly move to the seat where you can relax and listen to the resonance of this interval sequence with the whole body. How does your body feel now? We didn't do much with the arms, but how lively do you experience them now?
how to experience the relationship between your lung system and your belly system. If you would give them to uh, an imaginative form, how would you describe the form of your belly system, how the form of your lung and chest system, how do they connect? How broad are your shoulders now? When you listen to your ears, how to experience their space? <laughs> 